plasma membrane the plasma membrane the limiting membrane that envelop all eukaryotes this is a membrane of the claws which surround all all cells of eukaryotes this is a plasma membrane which surround the organelles that find within the, the cell and this is like skin for a cell uh, this plasma membrane prevent unwanted material that enter into the cell and permit wanted material that enter into the cell so it give semi permeable or selectively permeable for all cells of eukary but the plasma membrane mainly like constructed or building from phospholipids, cholesterol, proteins, and oligosaccharides. So those components are important for synthesis of plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is the other name of plasma membrane is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. So the phospholipid, cholesterol, protein, oligosaccharides are material which build the cell membrane. So the plasma membrane, what is the function of plasma membrane? The function of a plasma membrane, one, it's it is very selective bar. It is it selects which material should enter into the cell and which material should not enter into the cell. So it, it gives a selectivity the material that need to enter into the cell. And as a function of plasma membrane, it facilitates transport of specific molecules. It facilitates transport of specific molecules. So uh, now, manignon molecules, zimbelo aigavu, cellus aigavu myotu, selecti which uh, which material is important for the cell function? Which one is not important? The other one is eating your material by minimal kuno the cell So uh, one it facilitates the transport of specific molecules. So the amigba potassium uh, protein yugba, vitamin yuta, email on nagar kulu, men adjust the arabic. And also to keep constant ion content of the cytoplasm ion content within the cell we can get potassium bicarbonate proteins are found within cytoplasm and extracellularly that means that the ion that find is out of the cells can get the sodium and chlorine so this ion should be maintained by cytoplasm the other one is it gives specific recognition and signaling functions. Seluch uh Bakawa we are cho la yalo nagar recognize the mayor of Pat Magadal. Bakawa we are chua low for him body now. Wem dagmo the lila normal sale no, wem the mo water no. So in recognized karabu bala minad galu, they send signal. They send signal. So this signal is the signaling function is performed by the cytoplasm. Biochemically made by the following components. They are made from lipids, which is called phospholipids, proteins, different types of proteins. They, uh, they, they are important for uh, synthesis of uh, plasma membrane. And they also give carbohydrates. So the membrane phospholipid the membrane phospholipids are they, they are amphipathic. Amphipathic means they have both positive pole and negative pole. So they have both water loving and water head. And now molecular level at amphipathic in the chemical. Molecular level at water and attract the other girl, you want to flatch out water and attract the other girl, you want to flatch Water and uh, push are the more So they have uh, two poles, two poles. So they have two non-polar, two poles. One, they have two non-polar that is hydrophobic or water ripple. Look, 
the amphipathic molecule has two polar one that means water rippling this part is mainly formed by long chain of fat acids the other the other pole is charged the charged polar the charged polar is hydrophilic that means it attracts water it attracts water so this part is mainly formed by the phosphate group phosphate group of the phospholipid so the phospholipid is amphipathic amphipathic means it has two poles the first pole is made uh, mainly uh, formed from long chain of fat acid the second pole is mainly formed from phosphate groups phosphate groups look this picture uh, this is the phospholipid head this is phospholipid head which is hydrophilic the hydrophilic parts of phosphate and this one is this part is the hydrophobic or water rippling parts of the phospholipid so this is totally the phospholipid phospho the phospholipid bilayer this is a phospholipid bilayer uh, this phospholipid bilayer has the head phosphate head and fat acid tail the phosphate head is called hydrophilic or water loving and the fat acid tail has hydrophobic or water fairy so their arrangement is based on hydrophilic and hydrophobic the phospholipid is bilayer that means it has two layers that layer arranged based on the water loving and the water fairy the head has water loving, that is loving of the water, and the tail has water head. So it's away from the water and arranged as semi-permeable function. The plasma membrane proteins. So the second part of the plasma is plasma membrane proteins. This molecule, uh, plasma membrane protein molecules, they are integral protein, transmembrane protein and uh, the peripheral so we can get three major types of protein that build the plasma membrane the plasma membrane the integral proteins transmembrane proteins and the peripheral proteins usually those proteins function as a part of cytoskeleton cytoskeleton means the cell skeleton part the bone of the cell bone of the cells so and uh, this plasma membrane protein use as intracellular secondary messenger proteins intracellular secondary messengers that means they can send a message that comes from the external environment of the cell and they send those messages to the organs so those messengers are called secondary messengers so those plasma membrane proteins act as a secondary messenger protein a secondary messenger protein look this picture <clears throat> this is integral protein integral proteins and this is transmembrane protein it's totally totally they penetrate the plasma membrane part. penetrate the plasma membrane part. this one is a peripheral protein and this is a peripheral protein and this is peripheral protein this one also peripheral protein. and this is a peripheral protein and this is integral protein this also trans integral proteins so those proteins they find within the cell or outer parts of the cell or the plasma membrane or it dissect or it translate all parts of the plasma membrane, plasma membrane. 
other parts of plasma membrane is cholesterol cholesterol is other parts of a plasma membrane so when we see the ratio of cholesterol to the phospholipid it is one to one ratio the cholesterol and the phospholipid in metasinite one to one cholesterol to phospholipid ratio can get one to one that means if you get one phospholipid you can get one cholesterol so the, what is the function of cholesterol look at this picture this is a cholesterol the yellow color is cholesterol this is a cholesterol and this one is cholesterol which is fine that integrated with the phospholipid integrated with them they form sandwich like sandwich like fermentation so they find between one, one phospholipid and another phospholipid main function of cholesterol is it give it gives it gives or modulate the fluidity the fluidity of the plasma membrane and also it gives also movement of all membrane movements of all membrane so the cholesterol has two major function on plasma membrane one it gives fluidity that means flexibility of the plasma membrane and it's very very important for giving the movements of a plasma membrane so if one cell is moved the other is the tissue is moved and the organ is totally it can move due to the presence of cholesterol within the presence of cholesterol within plasma membrane plasma the other one is cholesterol. Cholesterol is fine between the phospholipid and it's very important for flexibility of uh, the cell membrane. And it is mainly fine between the fatty acid salt. The other parts of the other material that important for uh, synthesis of uh, or building or construction of plasma membrane is carbohydrate. So carbohydrate is known structural important for fermentation of fermentation of uh, plasma but it act as oligosaccharide it as it act as some receptors so the carbohydrate mainly the oligosaccharides the oligosaccharide uh, we can get two types of oligosaccharide on the plasma membrane proteins integrated with the plasma membrane protein which is called glycoprotein and glycolipids so the glycoprotein and the glycolipids they attach with the plasma membrane protein so carbohydrates are mainly found in the outer parts of the plasma membrane attached with the peripheral and transmembrane protein of the plasma membrane and they have the function for cell adhesion to extracellular material bending of enzyme and antigens and they are used for cell to cell recognition and interaction totally the carbohydrates are very important for attachments of receptors and they are very important for attachments of enzymes they are very important for attachments of antigen and they give recognition for the cell so let's say loch ye selochin bahari manninet express mi derego the carbohydrate selo man manninetwa mindinna emilawon recognition mitagenyo based on the presence of the types of carbohydrate that find within cell within the cell so we should we should know the types of carbohydrate that find at the surface of the cell is it on that we can give recognition for the cell so the cell which and then cell clearly cell can recognize them another but based on what based on the types of carbohydrate that find within the surface of the cell the surface of the cell so that is a, a good uh, the good material that find the carbohydrates attach with the protein and some carbohydrates attach with the phospholipid itself 
the outer surface of the plasma membrane and it give recognition for the cell and it recognize the external environments of the cell from the foreign bodies or one cell to another cells. So the carbohydrate is mainly found at the surface of 